Hello everybody, Lusty here. Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I consider to be the best Bloodpoint build in 2020 DVD. This video will only be covering killer gameplay, so if you want to farm Bloodpoints as Survivor, make sure to watch my other videos since we'll also contain a good build to farm Bloodpoints efficiently as Survivor. The link to that will be in the description, and there's also a card in the top right of your screen that you can click on. So with that out the way, let's get straight into the build. The perk build that I'll be using today consists of Barbecue and Chili, Distressing, Thrill of the Hunt, and Pop Goes the Weasel. So the first perk is going to be Barbecue and Chili. Every time I hook someone, I'll receive a stackable 25% bonus to all blood point gains up to a maximum of 100%. Basically, if I get 4 hooks, I'll get double the amount of blood points for the remainder of the match. This is the foundation of the entire perk build. The stressing increases my terror radius by 26% and lets me earn 100% more blood points in the deviousness category. This perk will ensure that I max out my deviousness every single match I play no matter what happens. Unless those filthy survive remains disconnect of course. For Oath the Hunt makes it so that I receive a token for every totem that's still standing in the map. I gain 10% more blood points in the hunter category for each token. Essentially, if no totems are cleansed, I'll be earning 50% more blood points in the hunter category for the entire match. I'll also receive a notification whenever anybody starts cleansing this perk's totem, and this will help me with trying to make sure that it stays up. Alternatively, you can switch out this perk for Beast of Prey, but I like the extra information that Frillbond gives. Lastly, I'm using Pop Goes the Weasel to slow down generator progress so the match lasts longer, which leads to me having more time to earn as many blood points as I possibly can. Of course, I'll be bringing some bloody party streamers because I'm a generous person and I'm in a good mood. So why not just double the amount of blood points for every player in a match? It's the least I can do. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to give it a like so other people that might be interested can see it. And without further ado, let's get right into our first match. Alright, we're in Rotten Fields. Right, so of course, first things first, immediately to the totem I go to make sure that nobody's on it straight away. Doesn't seem that way. Oh, hello, yeah. hello Dwight. I'm just gonna get tap you on the back if you don't mind. It's definitely see my totem now, that's a bad thing. Just to make sure that I kill him. Gonna go ahead and do this so he can't use the pallet, there we go. And now he's supposed to commit to running through the doorway. Do you have that already? Yes, you do. I should have waited. And now he's going to drop the pallet on me, but I knew that was coming, so I pre-lunged and we have a down. Alright, so one down, one gen. It's definitely not too bad, but there's probably another gen coming soon, so... Definitely have to make sure that I get this hook really quick and then see if I can use Pop Goes Always on a gen. So, no gens that I've never seen are being worked on. Somebody tried to go for a flash to save, which means they're still in the area. And there we go. Immediately spotted them. You gotta go ahead and try and chase them if we can. Um, they probably went to this generator over here. They're over here, actually. Right, so you're gonna go to the harvester. Um, I would try and like, play around this or whatever, but I actually have to just make sure that I trigger a chase. So whenever she vaults this window, it'll uh, count as one of the vaults until it gets blocked off. Oh, you're not trying to chase over here, that's okay. Like this, zone her out, do it like this so she can't vault the ballot. There we go. Force her to walk around, and then hopefully, if she doesn't have that, art, we'll make this. There we go. We'll go ahead and get rid of this pallet, and then we'll go ahead and throw you onto a hook and see what happens from there. Alright, onto the hook you go. And let's see two people in the cornfield, and nobody on a generator. Alright, just the way I like it. Get to do this for the blood points. Cause uh, it's not really free information because we already know where they are. I don't like where this is going. Just gonna go ahead and see if you have bar time. There we go. Nah, no, you don't bar time. Um, let's see, where did the Meg go? Hello. Nice for 60 attempt. To no avail, but still a nice attempt to say the least. We're gonna go see if you're gonna go for the harvester. No, you aren't. Are? Are? Aren't? Not sure. Oh! Now you fucked up! <laughs> All right, let's see where everybody is. Um, people are in the near vicinity, so I'll be able to use my static blast. And hello, Dwight. <laughs> Default Dwight crouching in the grass. That's what we like to see. Go 
then. Uh, ah, shocking there is no, uh... He's quick and quiet, that's good to know. Just gonna get this, there we go. Force him to keep running. And he's already been to this jungle gym before, so it's something you can really use. Nice, that hard. There we go. You can't zone yourself out, to be really honest. You could have tried committing to the shack window, but... Oh, well. Alright, boys. Who's ready for another smack on the booty? There we go. I knew you couldn't have gone far. Alright, she's running along the wall. It's a problem. Kind of zoning yourself out, to say the least. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just go ahead and wish you speed so I'm totally fine with that. Um, let's see where she's gonna go. Shock over here. Okay, well, that was a bad play by me. No clue why you would run away from a jungle gym, but, you know, I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> there goes my thrill of the hunts, but it's okay. We already have three fourth of our uh, chaser uh, category, so it's alright. We'll just have to get the rest the regular way. Oh, there we go, you're over there at the harvester. So we're almost at max deviousness. Then it all comes down to just getting enough hooks so we can max out the sacrificial category, that's it. We're gonna do this. Alright, that was definitely a mistake. See if she keeps running, no, she's not. Alright, just gonna go ahead and drop the pallet. We'll do this. Force her to keep running into the dead zone. Uh, never mind. Actually, I forget those jungles in my over here. I thought it was just a bit of corn. That's it. She's still zoning herself out regardless. I have no clue what you're trying to do over here. But since I'm the killer, I really don't mind. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna hook you. And there we go. And let's see. They're grouping up into a generator over there. Not on my watch. So since you messed up that skill check, it's gonna be me enough time to uh, get you. There we go, just gonna use my pop as a weasel. And then we'll go ahead and follow the scratch marks. You're probably gonna go for the unhook, right? Are you? I'm confused. No, no you're not. The scratch marks stop right here. What the hell? Why, why did you try and save your friend? Just go back this way. Wait, what? <laughs> you're confusing me. Alright, get your ass on the floor. Are you completing a generator over here? That's not allowed. Come back here. You're gonna pay for that, Dwight. Hell no, I really do not appreciate people who touch my things. No, no! There we go. Medium ball because you didn't angle it properly. Okay. Nice flashlight save. Nice flashlight save. I respect it. I respect it. I should have uh, remembered somebody had a flashlight this game. So just in case I'm going to do this for information. Ah, I ready to get through this uh, thing, man, to get my revenge. You filthy survivor player. Using OP items, dude. No counterplay whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Please don't actually take it seriously. There we go. This is what you get for flashlight saving. You wanted to be the hero, and now you get to pay for it. Alright, on the you go. Alright, and those two are just trying to heal in the corner of the map. I'm gonna go for the in uh, injured person, because I, uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't hooked this person to two times yet. Yeah, I've only hooked you once. And I, uh, I'd rather just max out my uh, sacrificial category. You fucking bitch, why you bully me? Did I just lag out, or are you just... You do realize there's a hook right here, so running over here, just running over here didn't waste any of our times. Listen, I understand that you want to be an optimal gamer, but this is definitely not the way to do it. On the hook you go. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this to max out our deviousness. Alright, there we go. Now it's maxed out. Unless it already was, doesn't really matter. Let's see which way you went. Dwighty boy. Listen, Dwight, stop. You, it's okay. Dwight, you don't have to be scared, alright? All it takes is two taps on the booty, alright? That's all I want. 
I'm just gonna do this. No, God! It's okay. He can uh, loop this as much as he wants. Shock that. Double shock it. Go back it away. You won't be able to drop this in time. Okay. Lunge a little bit too early. Please no. Force the bow down. There we go. And now we just run after him, and it's basically GG. Unless he makes it to the Mitri in time. But I don't think he will. He might, though. Okay, well, he did. No problem. So now that's just another two pallets down, which just gives me more brutality points, to be really honest. I'm totally fine with this. Still free generators to the left, anyway. He's gonna think that I'm not gonna break it, but I'm just gonna break it to surprise him so he's kind of zoned. And as I said, now he has to go back to Dimitri, but since he already used the paladin, there's nothing he can use. So, um, yeah, this is it for you, Dwight. There's nothing you can do. You're just gonna have to accept the feat. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pick you up, and then we'll use barbecue and find out if your friends have been productive. Stop! Alright, nice attempt. I respect it, for sure. You can try to get at the hook here. No, you're not. Alright, no problem. Just gonna hook you. And then we'll go for Feng Min. Alright, Feng. I see you conserving that window. Just gonna do this. Now you're gonna be able to use it. Force we'll to walk around and then we'll just down you. You're probably gonna have that alright. Boy, if you don't get... No, you don't. Alright, there we go. Um, since I am Doctor, I... I kind of don't want to uh, just hook her just yet. I kind of just want to make sure that I don't accidentally end up killing her. I don't want the hatch to spawn, so I'm just going to use my aesthetic blast and I'll find the last person. <laughs> you are a piece of work, I tell you that much. There we go. Okay, so what is this strat that you guys have where you just literally crawl to the opposite end of the map? I don't get it. You do realize that this game is designed for people like you, right? That's why there's hooks everywhere. And there we go. I don't think I'll be able to find the hatch, but that's okay because the hatch gives you devious this points and I've already maxed it out anyway, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's see how many blood points we got. So on our own, we already got we already had 32k to begin with on our own, and now we're at 96k. I mean, what else can I say aside from GG?